Hello and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We are staring at an ESDA sign in the back of a purple S15 because we're here for another driver spotlight. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll have the description box below. Before we get to that, I'd like to thank Coldest Water for sponsoring another video here on the channel. The Coldest Water has an assortment of various size water bottles and various colors and things that you will need for your journeys, whether you're in sim racing, walking around, or out in the environments. So make sure you guys check out Coldest Water, and if you make a purchase, make sure you use promo code EBL10 for 10% off your entire order. So today we are taking a look at CDT Bando's ESDA S15 with that Forest Wang inspired livery. This livery looks amazing, and you guys know Forest Wang is my favorite. FD and drift driver around four swing styles all the time hard angle great amazing driver so we're taking a look at his ESDA 2021 S15 if you guys remember Bando was on the channel another driver spotlight with the carbon drift team but today we're doing a solo one on his S15 this car looks great and uh, sounds even better let's uh, let's just start this thing up so you guys can hear it It is just massive amounts of turbo noise. So once again, a big thank you to CDT Bando for allowing me access to his ESDA car to do a bit of a driving impressions on it. So a couple credits are due where credits are due. It is a 3.0 2JZ GE GTE making about 936 horsepower. The data was done by Ko Fons. Fonset, Fonseca, if I pronounce it wrong or push it, I apologize for that. The car model was done by High Dimensions and a livery done by Angel Design and Carbon DT. So he did give me a setup that we are going to run on the car. So we're going to go full send here on ESDA Yas Marina. And you all know where we end these videos off. We'll be going, hitting up Irwindale. So let's, uh, let's go full send on this car. Let's get the wheel cam turned on for you. Like I said, Cold Water, big thank you for sponsoring another video. And today, of all days, it is like high 70s, low 80s, and it is definitely hot in my office. So having this cold bottle next to me with full of ice cold water is always a great thing, especially in this temperature that it is right now. Got a cool breeze coming in, but it's still uh, quite warm out there. All right, so we're going to make a quick adjustment to our camera play real quick. All right, so we gotta get the tires heated up on this the S15 before we go into the Osprey circuit. You can just hear how loud this car is. This car is insanely loud, and I, you guys know, I love the Forest Lang Wang livery. So let's uh, let's go full set here on Yas Marina circuit. Oh man, if I would have been in the right gear, that probably would have been a hard reverse entry. So I did not load my setup or Bando setup. So we're gonna go back to pits, and we're going to actually load up. The setup that Bando gave me and now we're gonna go full send Jeez, oh man this car is insane let's go let's try not to do a reverse entry on this time Ooh. kind of uh, did not expect the car to float that wide but we are just getting used to the car of course this car flicks the angle really fast as you can see which I guess is just a testament to you know Forrest Wang because he is always high angle very you know angled up driver so so you gotta stay in boost with this car the car just throwing smoke everywhere so did not get a good run on that first run but we're gonna go See if we can't get a better run. The smoke is just still down track. This car is a smoke machine. Let's give a thank you to Bando for allowing me access to this car. The 
to stay in boost with this car. Oh man, I'm struggling here at the Arena circuit though. But not bad in the latter section of this course. This car is so powerful and the power uh, once it meets full boost is incredible. This car is just... I I give props to Bando for being able to drive the car like this. This is I, Turbo lag and things are things that I definitely have to get used to driving. And it's something I'm working more and more on. So let's try one more run here. That hung that out a lot longer than I needed to. And right there is fall out of boost. You don't want to do that. This car is insane. I feel like this car's gonna be crazy at Irwindale. <laughs> I think this car does have no lift shift in it. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna see. It looks like it has no lift shift. This car just smokes the tires. This car is so much fun, Bando. This car is crazy. I know we're running it backwards, but it's fine. And we're out of gas, so it's time to head up Irwindale. So I'll meet you guys once we get on Irwindale. So we are at Irwindale and we've pulled out one of the other liveries that are in the car, you know, Forest Wing's older livery. It does have three of Forest Wing's liveries in there, which is incredibly awesome. So we're going to go here at Irwindale and see what we can do. I'm going to definitely grab something to drink though, because like I said, it is uh, quite toasty in here and there's dogs barking outside the window. So I did have the closed window, so it's a little warmer now. All right. Gotta fix my cup holder. FD Irwindale Bandos S15. Let's go full send. 5th gear? Yep. Oh, much better on Irwindale than I was doing at Yas Marina circuit. Almost went too far on rotation there. Get it back, get it back, there we go. Back in angle. This this car is insane. I feel like this car can just rock this course in fifth or sixth gear. We just did it in fifth. I'm not sure about that. Not sure about sixth, but fifth gear, this car definitely rakes this bank insanely. So let's go for another full run. Fourth wing angle. Power, the left foot brake, that's a much better run. So, after a few, well, I would have zeroed because I transitioned way too soon. So, after a few runs, definitely slowly getting used to this car. It's not an easy car to drive by any means with the power this thing has. It's, you know, these competition cars are super high powered, super crazy speed, and snap to angle. It's definitely something I'm not really used to. So, Definitely need to get more and more used to that. We're gonna try this bank in six gear though. Yep, it can just destroy six gear on the bank. Almost wall tapped it. I would have been super mad if I wrecked this car. 
So that's going to do it here for this episode. Big thank you to CDC Vano for allowing me access of this beautiful S15 for ESDA. As well as I'd like to thank all you guys for coming back and watching the video and coming back for another one. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.